Elon Musk's ambitious plan to colonize Mars. A new era of space exploration. Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, has captivated the world with his ambitious plans to colonize Mars. With the aim of making humanity a multi-planetary species, Musk has unveiled a comprehensive roadmap to establish a self-sustaining colony on the Red Planet. From the revolutionary interplanetary transport system to the utilization of Martian resources and the prospects of terraforming, Musk's plan opens up a world of possibilities for the future of human civilization. In today's video, we'll explore the details of his visionary plan and the technological advancements necessary to transform this audacious endeavor into reality. Make sure to watch the video till the end as we uncover the incredible technological advancements that are propelling us towards this goal. The Interplanetary Transport System, Starship. Imagine a spacecraft that can transport massive payloads, both cargo and passengers, to destinations beyond Earth. A spacecraft so colossal in size and capability that it heralds a new era in space travel. Can you envision such a game-changing marvel? Well. Elon Musk certainly can. At the heart of this grand endeavor is the interplanetary transport system, now known as Starship. This awe-inspiring spacecraft, standing approximately 50 meters tall, possesses a payload capacity that surpasses a whopping 100 metric tons. It's a technological marvel, meticulously designed to carry out interplanetary missions with unparalleled efficiency and reusability. If you can't get there, nothing else matters. So. And like I said, you, you, we can't get there with at some extraordinarily high cost. I mean, the current cost of, um, let's say, one ton to the surface of Mars is on the order of a billion dollars. The spacecraft is powered by Raptor engines, a next-generation propulsion system that utilizes liquid methane and liquid oxygen propellants. These engines, developed under Musk's relentless pursuit of innovation, offer higher efficiency and thrust compared to traditional rocket engines. They have undergone extensive testing and development to ensure their reliability and performance in the demanding conditions of interplanetary travel. However, Musk's mission to Mars goes beyond technological advancements. He sees a future where multiple starships depart from Earth, rendezvous in orbit, and form a mighty fleet for the interplanetary journey. This concept of fleet-based colonization has sparked the imagination of researchers worldwide. Studies have shown that with a fleet of starships, we can transport a significant number of people and essential supplies to Mars, paving the way for the establishment of a sustainable colony. He believes in the necessity of becoming a multi-planetary species, citing the importance of ensuring the long-term survival of humanity. Musk envisions Mars as a backup plan a safeguard against the uncertainties and potential threats that our home planet may face in the future. To demonstrate the feasibility of this approach, SpaceX has already achieved impressive milestones with its reusable rocket technology. The Falcon 9 rocket, equipped with reusable first-stage boosters, has successfully completed numerous missions and made multiple landings, significantly lowering the cost of satellite launches. So, as we dive deeper into Musk's visionary plan to ensure our survival among the stars, with Starship leading the way, Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars inches closer to reality. Propulsion and Reusability in order to make it to Mars, we need the Raptor engines. As mentioned before, they use a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen propellants, igniting a fiery blaze that propels Starship through the vastness of space. With their exceptional thrust and efficiency, Raptor engines are the turbo boosters of the cosmos, giving Starship the power it needs to reach Mars in record time. Why methane and oxygen, you ask? Well, apart from the fact that they sound like a dynamic duo from a sci-fi movie, these propellants offer some serious advantages. Liquid methane, derived from Earth's abundant natural gas reserves, can be produced on Mars using local resources, reducing the need for costly and complex fuel resupply missions. As for liquid oxygen, it's readily available and can be efficiently stored and transported. Together, they form a powerful and efficient fuel combination, making this the best option possible. Gone are the days of one-time-use rockets being discarded like yesterday's space junk. Elon Musk has set his sights on making space travel more affordable and sustainable through the revolutionary concept of reusability. 
Starship is designed to be fully reusable, just like a trusty spaceship from your favorite movie, say the Millennium Falcon. After completing a mission, instead of retiring to space retirement homes, Starship returns to Earth, ready for refurbishment and relaunch. Earth Mars Transportation. The self-sustaining part is important. Like, it's just the, the key threshold, um, the, the great filter will, will have been passed when the city on Mars it can survive even if the spaceships from Earth stop coming for any reason. Imagine Starship standing tall on Earth's surface, engines ignited and ready for departure. These interplanetary marvels take off, leaving Earth's gravity behind as they set their sights on Mars. Their journey takes them through the vastness of space, propelled by the power of Raptor engines, of course, and guided by the unwavering vision of Elon Musk. Upon reaching Mars, these extraordinary vessels touch down on the rusty surface, bringing with them the essential resources needed to sustain life and build a flourishing colony. But it doesn't end there. Starship's mission doesn't conclude with a one-way trip. It's a round-trip adventure. As mentioned, they can return to Earth, no problem. After delivering its precious cargo, Starship returns to Earth to reload and embark on yet another odyssey to Mars. Elon Musk envisions the establishment of a self-sustaining Martian colony. Each voyage brings us closer to a future where humans can thrive beyond Earth, taking root on the Red Planet and forging a new chapter in our story. With a sustainable flow of resources, we can overcome the challenges of living in a distant world and create a resilient colony capable of withstanding the harsh Martian environment. Terraforming and habitability. Terraforming, like a cosmic makeover, involves changing the natural conditions of a planet to make it more Earth-like and conducive to human habitation. Elon dreams of harnessing the power of science and technology to reshape Mars, gradually transforming it into a place where humans can thrive, breathe the air, and roam freely without the constraints of bulky spacesuits. But well, long term, we could make it look like Earth. Oh, we have to warm it up, but there's a lot of um, it's a lot of ice on Mars. It's like cold, mm -hmm. so like you just have to warm it up to have liquid water. Um, but Mars has a, Mars would have um, an, an an ocean of I think about a roughly maybe a mile deep uh, on forty percent of the planet, roughly. Wow. wow. Um, yeah. But terraforming Mars is no small feat. It requires a series of carefully planned steps. The first step involves increasing the planet's atmospheric pressure and temperature, which would facilitate the existence of liquid water on the surface. Then we would need to release greenhouse gases stored in Martian soil and polar ice caps, such as carbon dioxide, to create a greenhouse effect, trapping heat and warming the planet. Next, the introduction of hardy plants and microorganisms capable of surviving in the Martian environment would be essential. These organisms would play a crucial role in the process of oxygenating the atmosphere through photosynthesis, gradually increasing the oxygen levels and making it breathable for humans. The transformation of Mars into a habitable planet offers immense advantages for long-term colonization. A more hospitable environment would reduce the reliance of artificial life support systems and enable humans to explore and settle the planet more freely. It would also pave the way for sustainable agriculture, allowing us to grow crops and produce food locally. A thriving Martian ecosystem would foster the sense of home and provide opportunities for scientific research and discovery. Terraforming Mars is undoubtedly a monumental endeavor, fraught with challenges and uncertainties. From the immense energy requirements to the long timescales involved, there are significant technical, ethical, and ecological considerations to be addressed. However, Elon Musk's vision has sparked widespread enthusiasm and collaboration among scientists, researchers, and visionaries worldwide, pushing the boundaries of our understanding and igniting a collective effort to unlock the secrets of Martian terraforming. Challenges and Future Prospects the path to Mars colonization will have challenges, we already know this. Developing advanced life support systems capable of sustaining humans in the harsh Martian environment is a crucial priority. Furthermore, the long-duration space travel required to reach Mars poses risks to human health, such as radiation exposure and the physical and psychological impact of extended isolation. Overcoming these challenges 
requires the convergence of scientific knowledge, engineering expertise, and a relentless pursuit of breakthrough technologies. Ensuring the health and safety of astronauts during the arduous journey and their subsequent stay on Mars is paramount. The effects of long-term space travel on the human body and mind must be thoroughly understood and mitigated. Implementing rigorous medical protocols, designing reliable and resilient spacecraft, and providing adequate emergency response capabilities need to be in place. As we venture into the realm of interplanetary colonization, we must also grapple with ethical considerations. Preserving the integrity of the Martian environment and respecting any potential indigenous life, if it exists, are of utmost importance. Striking a balance between exploration and conservation requires careful planning and responsible decision-making to minimize the impact of human activities on Mars. Looking ahead, the prospects for Mars colonization are both exciting and promising. With each technological advancement and each scientific breakthrough, we inch closer to turning the dream into a tangible reality. What are your opinions on the idea of establishing a colony on Mars? Do you think it's an achievable goal? Or do you have concerns and reservations? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Space Lounge for more engaging content like this.